fingers again with you with another classic song from the Beatles from the uh, Beatles for Sale album uh, a song called What You're Doing okay and I'm in standard tuning no capos and I'm doing it in exactly the same key as the original done by the Beatles okay now obviously this song has got multiple guitars only a 12 string noticeably playing all the lead bits okay so I've tried this is my uh, single guitar version okay so incorporating as much as the lead bits as I can whilst keeping the rhythm going okay so we're starting off with the uh, it starts off with some drums with my poor representation of drums but that'll do for now and you come in with the riff right the iconic riff that is and that's playing it with obviously the rhythm of trying to keep the chord going as well you could just play it single notes if you wanted to uh, single notes are okay which is open D fourth fret of the fourth string the D string then flatten that finger down and play the fourth fret of the third string so it's down to the second fret on the third string right so it's back to the fourth on the fourth second on the fourth again open fourth second on the fourth back to the fourth on the fourth okay so it's okay now obviously I'm playing that same thing but keeping the D chord so it's like using your pinky so it's D chord then you put your pinky up to that fourth fret on the fourth string and then move the pinky down to that fourth on the third and then play the chord so it's back to the fourth on the fourth and then move this first finger from the D chord up to the second on the fourth so it's and I'm playing the fourth and the third string basically and put that pinky up finally to that fourth on the fourth so it's very slowly right sorry ok 
can then we're into the song uh, so that does it does that twice okay so after the drum so it goes into the chord D O G what you doing now I'm playing a four finger G doubling up on the third fret of the second string and the third string with my third finger and pinky you could play a straightforward G if you wanted to three finger G is fine but I make it a little bit more jingly jangly we're using a four finger G version okay okay so D O G what you doing D and G feeling blue and lonely would it B minor B too much G four fingered or three fingered this hurt you what you stay on the G what you doing to and then you go back to D and play the riff again and then the second verse kicks in okay so just go through this again so D O G what you doing D and feeling G would it be minor? B too much. G to ask of you. G, what you doing? D, riff. Second verse exactly the same. You got me running, and there's no fun in it. Why should it be too much to ask of you? What you doing? to me okay now the B minor obviously you saw me there playing a bar chord B minor second fret bar minor shape B minor you could if you want just play a simple B minor if you can't manage the bar chord just play a simple B minor chord like that four down to one okay so if you want to use a simple B minor it's uh, it's like uh, you got me running and there's no fun in it should it be too much to ask of you what you doing to me? Okay, so when you've done the second verse, um, you play you play a partial riff. Okay, you go sorry, and you stop on that one. Okay, doesn't do the whole riff. So coming out of that second verse, we go or do the second verse where you got me running. And there's no fun in it, why should it be too much to ask of you what you're doing to me? So it stops on that point there, then we go into the G again. Now I've been waiting, be my whichever one you're doing. Let's do G, wondering what B minor we're gonna do. E major, just straightforward E chord, should you need. A love that's true, A. Single stroke on an A. That's true. Quick A and then to another verse. So it's that bam, bam, again to the next verse. So from this second verse onwards, you, oh sorry, you. So I'll play it slowly as I can, make it so uh, well, so losing it. Okay, here we go. You got me running. There's no fun in it, why should it be so much to ask of you what you're doing sh to me? Shorten. I'm assuming you have looked I've up your steps. for you, wondering what you're gonna do. Should you need a love that's true? It's true. another verse again so we're in verse three now please stop your lying you got me crying girl why should it be too much to ask of you what you're doing to me now we do the full riff and then we go into the the lead solo okay and it's all double stops really mainly double stops anyway Right, so I'm playing the 5th fret of the top E string, 1st finger, 7th fret of the 2nd string with the 3rd uh, finger, 
Then you do one and then you do another, right? And then you sort of slide up to this shape. So I'm now using my second finger on the ninth fret of the top E string and my third finger is on the tenth fret of the second string. So I go. So I got a slide, okay? So. And then you slide that down. Don't hit it again, just slide it down two frets to the seventh fret on the top E string and the uh, eighth fret of the third, uh, second string. Okay, it's the same shape, just slide down two frets. Okay, so. Okay, and then you do the whole thing again. And this time you hit that twice. Okay? Oops, sorry about that. So the first time it's. Second time it's. Okay, then we go down to this sort of minor, it's like a partial B minor shape. Uh, second fret, top E string, first finger, third fret of the second string, and fourth, um, so that's third fret of the second string, and fourth fret of the third string. Little diagonal chord there. And you just go first string, second string, third string, second string. So now you've got. Okay, let me move this this shape that you've got, just move it up a string and move it up one fret. So first finger is now on the third fret of the second string, second finger is on the fourth fret of the third, and my third finger is on the fifth fret of the fourth and you just go uh, second third and fourth okay so now you've got this okay it's got that third on the third fret of the second fourth fret of the third and fifth fret of the fourth four three strings two three four then what I did the way I play it is just take those fingers off and just play the 2nd, 3rd and 4th strings open and then back to the D for a full riff ok and then we're going into the final verse oh sorry no we don't sorry I beg your pardon that's another partial that we're going into the middle bit again so it's just a partial so can we sorry that I just told you a fib so when you come out of that um, that shortened one again and then we're back into I've been waiting okay which is the G chord uh, I've been waiting B minor okay so coming out of the second uh, the third verse um, let's do the third verse onwards third verse solo and then the next bridge section okay so here we go please stop your lying you got me crying girl should it be too much to ask of you what you're doing to me? And into G. I've been waiting, be minor for you, G. Wondering what B minor we're gonna do. E, should you need a love as true? A, as me. Quick A, D, another verse, please. Stop your final verse, Lion. You got me crying, girl. Why should it be too much to ask of you what you're doing? Every partial riffs now, okay? Which it what it goes, what you doing to me? What you G doing? Back to D partial riff. What you doing? Full riff. The more drums. 
Then there's a little of a bass bit, and the drums are going, it's still going, but it's... So it does that sort of like three times from a, ha uh, a hammer, bottom E string, third fret to, to the fifth fret. It does that three times, and then you go fifth fret, bottom E string, sixth, uh, third fret, sorry, uh, sorry, the S right. Um, No, that's right. Sorry, fifth fret, third fret, first fret, and then you play the riff again, the normal riff. Stop. End of song. Strum on the D there. Okay. So, last verse. Please stop your lying. You got me crying. Go. Why should it be too much to ask of you what you do? What you doing to me? What you doing to me? Sorry. Bit of a mess up at the end, but you get the idea. Okay, there you have it, boys and girls. My single guitar version of. Uh, what you're doing from the Beatles Beatles for Sale album. Okay, thanks very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.